go Tweety likes to follow us we had like eggs and uh, they were hack it was supposed to hatch on the 28th and some of them came like a little bit early and Tweety is nice and he likes pecking my foot <laughs> one day we were doing science and miss Weathers asked Tweety a question and he nodded his head. We have a computerized incubator um, that we have and we watched it and we watched it turn and we actually um, candled the egg also that we watched her grow, which shows a light through the egg that we could actually see her as she developed um, through the egg and we would do it on our inner right board. Um, so we got to watch the process, we talked about the process, we talked about that, you know, she was going to be a mallard duck, and we did have two hatch. They did come two days early, and one did not make it. And we, we studied it, and we learned that ducks don't like to be alone. And so I did have to go get her a pal. And she's had it ever since the other one died. And she actually sleeps with it. She'll lay on it and sleep with it. Um, they're... they're they are very, um, I don't know, they, they're very used to humans because when I work, she sits right beside my desk. She Ms. sits right there. Hey, Miss Willis, remember the time when she went to social studies with us? <laughs> yes, she and went to social studies. <laughs> and uh, she couldn't get it because Tweety, she kept running everywhere and other desks. <laughs> oh, yeah. Tweety went to social studies one And she day. stayed there <laughs> until <laughs> the end of the period. They all know she's going to Hollywood on Monday. How do y'all feel about that? Sad. Sad. It's not nice. We had a baby pool for it, and really? it would swim, but it grew. It, she grew like tremendous amount overnight. A lot of these kids never have animals at their homes, and and a lot of them never get to interact with animals. And I've noticed that having animals in the room, especially with kids that have uh, behaviors that may not be suitable that having animals in the room they really they, they really interact and they, they seem to connect with the animals and, and and that's been a really big help but animals seem to calm and uh, and they can connect with them um, I went to Walmart and got a great big blow-up pool for the deck and she swims out there <laughs> yeah Tweety loves that in fact I went to Walmart and I said you know I need a pool and she said how many children I said mm, it's for you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but she loves it, and and that's why we made the decision for her to go to Holly Wild, because it's not fair. It's not fair for her to to be here and to be in the cage. We leave her out all day as much as we can, but it's not fair. She needs to be with other ducks, and she's starting to fly. That's one thing we did learn that they imprint with the first person that they see, um, and that they bond with that. And so, I guess she feels like I'm her mother. Um, and they have followed me day one, that they've been out of the incubator and out of the brooder. They have followed me day one. So, it, I mean, it really is interesting, you know, to see an animal that can bond. And that's what they were talking about, too, this morning, that they've got brothers and sisters that they bond with. And they were talking that this is like that because they, they, that's who they hear and who they see. And, and we, we think, too, that, you know, I said she could hear us in the incubator. She could hear our voices. And that, I think that's why she imprinted to all of us, because she'll just follow us <laughs> anywhere. She will go with us anywhere. But I think it's the personalities of the kids, too. They, they're so kind to the animals. They really are. And they take care of them. They help them. Um, they, I had kids crying yesterday when they were told she was going to Holly Wild. But we talked about it and how she'll be with other ducks, and she'll bond with them and she'll be able to migrate. We talked about how she'll migrate to the south, and that's what she needs to do. She needs to. Don't we, baby? Huh? It is going to be sad to let her go. 